In this lesson, we'll look a little at circle walking in Bagua Chang. There are some various techniques you can use for walking the circle to help you get more comfortable and more balanced and rooted as you're walking the circle. So first of all, we'll look at the feet and how this will come into play as we walk into very small circles. So um, what we look at first is walking what we call the square. Walking the square is literally getting into a very small circle by going heel to toe with the feet. There's another side of the square, heel to toe here, heel to toe back here, back out this way like that. Okay, so this is walking a very small circle or walking into the legs of your opponent, pretty much. Okay, but as you can see, looking at my upper body, that although the feet are doing this kind of square, we're staying in a very rotational mode here where I'm walking very small here, but the upper body is just spinning as if it were spinning almost in place like that. Okay, so. To get used to walking the very smallest circle, which is what you do when you engage an opponent, is to spin from a large circle into a very small movement. You need to practice that. One way is to, in the center here, this rock, as you walk the circle, say, holding one of the mother palms, like this, walk the circle, you can spin inside, make your circle smaller, and smaller, okay, till finally you're so close to the center that your feet are walking what we call the square, again, barely outside the circumference of the rock here, so very small. And once you're there, you can spin back out, walk around this side, spin farther and farther out, until you're walking a large circle again out here, okay? So the spinning in and out is great balance and stepping practice. Even without the aid of a center, you can walk inward with another palm, move it here, okay? Come very close, walk back out, bigger and bigger. You can even do a bit of a palm change, walking here, walk very close in, and spin back out, and larger and larger like that.